grab my files from Canvas. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. I was I was impressed actually for the most part. Everybody did. I didn't have anybody um, who couldn't put a basic page together. You know, they didn't they didn't know the they didn't know. You know, nobody nobody got there and and didn't know how to put the body tags in the headers and that kind of stuff. So, um, which I've had in previous classes, and um, so, huh? It is progress. It is progress. Do they have somebody who can help with HTML there? <laughs> but you don't want to? Uh, not that I don't want to. It's just that you see this busy all the time. I never know what you're going to do. Okay. So this, the... the it's incredibly organized. You always see things last minute. <laughs> that's, that's why they keep organized. <laughs> you're going to want to be in week seven in-class work and download those files. Should be images and a little word file. Oh, for crying out loud, I've been having problems with my downloads out of Chrome. <laughs> when I was preparing it. Uh, let's see here. It's my Chrome, actually. It's Chrome has failed. Um, let's see, I've been able to get it before. have to do this through Firefox unfortunately Firefox is working for me but Chrome is not it, it's, an upgrade. it's what that's an upgrade <laughs> that's <laughs> it was fun uh, let's see canvas do, 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 do. sorry for the wait Okay, so I'm going to warn you, I think this is going to be a lengthy uh, multi-day um, assignment we'll do together. This is about, um, it's uh, about uh, media queries. And so, yeah, that was, okay, what the heck. Stop to create a new folder. Week seven. Okay. There we go. Created myself a project folder. Paste my stuff in there. Ah, okay. So we should be good to go. Hide that. All right. So what we want to do uh, is uh, open up your text editor of choice. And go ahead and begin. Start building your your uh, your normal page. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to start off with do doc type right. HTML lang equals what? Anybody remember? En for English. Exactly. Go ahead and close it. That's you want to speak American. You want to code in American. <laughs> exactly. All right. So let's see here. We got our head. Oops. With brackets. Head. And yeah. Yeah, it's still 
I don't know what Spanish would look like. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Es Spanish. I don't know. I've never programmed in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and a very there's sometimes reading one from somebody that does not hear language and you need to write a book and all their comments are in Spanish. Uh, and you just have to tell the book. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that can be interesting to figure out. I've done that. You can't if you understand the joke. But you do know. If they do something really strange and get that comment, now you understand. <laughs> title on this is going to be creature feature ah, ah, details details yes I will absolutely so let me save this first save as save with encoding huh let's bravely try it Our desktop we um, why is it not actually on my desktop? There we go. Go ahead and save this as week seven day one dot HTML. And it will probably change when I actually select HTML. Sure enough. Just going to make sure. Save. There we go. Okay, so. Yeah, there he goes. I'm always somehow afraid of sort of repeating some of these actions and getting it wrong. Like, you know, I just learned how to make this bigger in the screen. And it's kind of like, you know, you, you, you dream of, you know, showing up unprepared. <laughs> are we linking it to a CSS? We are going to do that. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that now if you would like to. Um, there will be those things. Um, give me one second before I tell you what order we're doing all that in. All right, so we've got link. Is it href? Styles.css. We don't need type. We need rel equals style sheet, right? Why is it doing it down here? That was weird. I touched it. <laughs> I'm the bull in the china shop. All right, so there we go. Um, got my body tags. All right, what have I forgotten? Okay, we are going to create in the body a wrapper. So we're going to have a div with an ID equal to wrapper. Oh, Jason's going to be sorry you missed today. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Put the content in the wrapper inside the wrapper. We're going to include a header we're going to include a nav we're going to include a main that's right Jason did tell me he was going someplace and we're going to include a footer. We we have not used a footer a lot in our on class in class stuff, but footers are really super common. All right, I just should throw that out there. This is probably going to become your normal <laughs> your normal procedure to to include the footer. Uh, not an aside this time. Yeah, side is is very common, but it's not required. None of these are absolutely required. All right, but if you have navigation, which you should, you should wrap your navigation always in the nav. Um, 
if you've got a if you've got a header, you should always wrap it in header. If you've got stuff at the bottom of the document, you should wrap it in a footer. It's just good semantic markup that way. Okay, so in the header, we're going to include our logo. So image SRC. Are you guys rusty? Is it coming back? Or are you all just right on track, right? You're like, I remember all this stuff. It's been like a week and a half since we met, but all right. Images, because it's in a folder. Big monster logo dot PNG. What also has to go in an images tag or image tag? Anybody remember? Alt. Big monster logo text. All right. And I forgot something. I accidentally covered it up. Whoopsies. I'm going to wrap that image in a div. Give it an ID of logo. So what what giving my div an ID does is it allows me to grab that block and do something with it, which is really, really, really important when it comes to media queries because we're going to be moving stuff all around. All right, we're going to be moving people's cheese. And um, so you've got to be able to get a hold of it with that identifier right there. Okay, so there's my logo. And I'm going to include another div here and the ID will be headline and I'm gonna say I'm gonna put my h1 in there uh, creature feature I'll move this up Jason monster you can put anybody's name in there. I don't care. If you didn't want Jason to get the uh, Jason monster to get the the uh, spotlight, put in whoever you want. I don't want anybody to be offended. That's the thing. Okay, so we've got our div ID headline creature feature Jason monster. Closing div tag. Did I lose anybody so far? Okay. What, what I'm driving at is, does anybody not understand what we're doing? Okay, everybody's, everybody's good? You understand what we're doing? You have no idea. <laughs> I've got a whole stack of paper to wad up and throw right at you. <laughs> I'm going to wait for people to catch up here in the typing. Fine. Fine, fine. Until oh, it's late. Yeah. Yes. When you are trying to grab something in CSS, and let's say you have um, a paragraph, uh, uh, like a link inside uh, a header. Okay. Right? So you put header A. Okay. To grab it. Right? Because it's Okay, yeah, you could do that, yeah. Um, do you have to do that if you have an ID inside the header? Let's say... You still have to get it a hold of it somehow. Right. You can use just the, just the ID. Yeah. yeah. Any element has an ID on it, you can grab it. Because I was doing the big time, I had a lot of divs to mm -hmm. bind stuff up. Mm -hmm. But then when I was trying to grab them, yeah. I would have to use like header div yeah. or name div. Yes. And then if I had more and more div in the header, then it would get them all. Like, How the heck do I do that? Yeah. <laughs> so then I, right. I have to ID all of them. Yeah. And then I had to go through the whole thing and be consistent. Yeah. Yes. But then at one place I 
that was a great learning experience for you. That's exactly what you have to do. So, okay, so a div is nothing more than a block element, right? And what I mean by block element is it wants to sit by itself and it doesn't want to play nicely with what's next to it. Okay, so it, yeah, divides. All right, so. So whatever is there, it wants to bump it, bump the next content down. Okay, so it wants to be in linear progression on the page, unless you tell it not to. So you can tell it, I want the display of my div to be inline or inline block. One of those two will work just fine. That means that the content can come up and sit next to it. The difference between div and span is that span is automatically in line until you tell it not to be. So div and span are, are kind of the two big things that you're going to use. Uh, div wants to be a block element, sit by itself. Span wants to be in line once it prints, wants to have things next to it. Yeah, that's what he was just talking about. So, yeah, um, yeah, what, I don't want to get too deeply into that right now. Um, it's a good question. If we've got time, I'll cover it, okay? Um, yeah. Pseudo selectors. Right. Yeah, and you can do last child as well, I think. Uh, all right, so in the navigation, we're going to include some stuff. I want to give myself a an unordered list. Go ahead and oops, close that off. And then three items. List item. I'm not going to make them actual links. I'm just making them placeholders. So I've got my home link. I've got my contenders. And I have my contact information. Move that up a little bit. Okay, shall I move on? We're good? Okay. All right, so in my main, I'm going to create a div, give it an ID of creature feature. Whoop, forgot the quotes. I'm using what's called camel case. Camel case is you start your, your, your word, whatever that is, lowercase, Every time you run across a new word in here, you capitalize it, and it gives it, huh? Yep, that's exactly why. Ease of reading, right? This is a this is a very common convention uh, in programming. And so let's see here. Another another would be to do something like this, where you break up the word with an underscore. It doesn't matter. Um, these are just conventions that are easy to use. Whatever works best for you is the is the rule of thumb. Um, I actually find that a little easier to read, but camel case works fine enough for short stuff, I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna close off that div. Make sure I don't lose my place. There I am. Okay. Inside my div, 
a little bit of semantic markup. Section. Oops, section. Without a semicolon in the middle. Anybody remember what a section is? It's a section, Richardson. That's what it is. That's interesting because the last version of the text, the Zybooks test, said sections and articles can be used interchangeably. So I'm st I still may be operating under the old premise. I'm going to use section as my wrapper to the articles that go within. It, it will not change how your page looks, but it, does, it may change the semantic markup of how it shows up in a reader. Okay, it won't change how it appears. And we may change that as Michael goes and investigates W3 standards. Right I know, that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Just tell me if I should be using section as my wrapper or article as my wrapper. Okay, we'll use article then. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use that as my as my wrapper. Now the next level down, then in this case, is going to be section. We're going to go ahead and put it in here, even though it is not exactly appropriate, because we're only going to have one feature. So it doesn't make sense to have a whole section dedicated to that one feature. You could do this without the section tag. However, if you're going to do more than one, one creature feature on the same page, it would make sense to divide those up by section. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here so you can get used to it. All right, so I'm going to close up my section. And now I'm going to create another div. This is where I'm starting to piece out my, um, my content in here. And this is going to be my H2. So I had my H1 in the big header in the top. Then I've got a smaller headline in here. And it's going to, this is going to be the headline to my article. Jason Monster is happy to lend a helping tentacle. I bet you didn't think that it was going to go there, did you? Don't misspell that. Just saying. Okay. Now it makes sense that what follows is going to be a paragraph, right? Paragraph of text. And I'm going to put an image in there. So I'm going to have a paragraph tag. And close off my paragraph tag. My first image. Image. I always want to spell out image, but it's not. It's not spelled. That would be wrong. Images. Big. I guess I'm a, I can move this up for you guys. Big. Monster. Now this one's going to be three. Big monster three dot PNG. Need an alt tag. And I'm going to say Jason Monster. catch up. Make sure to save. Saving is like voting. You want to do it early and often. <laughs> Tell
tentacle. That's the one you want to spell right. I don't care about monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and just save that, and I want to look at it in my browser of choice. Okay, open with, and it's going to be Firefox this time. There we go. Hey, there we go. Got some content in there. Doesn't look like much as far as layout goes, but that's fine. Okay. Go back. Yes. Oh, okay. So that is that is up here in so it's within the header. And then I've got div ID logo with my image there. While we're waiting, anybody got any good jokes? Just <laughs> let her type. What happened to the cannibal when he arrived late for dinner? He ate himself. Let's see, Amber's going to come up with it. She's working that one hard. They gave him the cold shoulder. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Groan. Are you done typing? Okay. I have to come up with another one? Oh. <laughs> What's that? Alexa. Oh, oh, is that right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, Siri didn't used to, but I think Siri does now. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I'm afraid to ask. A Caesar salad. <laughs> That's the only one. Banana. <laughs> no, we're not doing that one. Okay, cut that one off. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Wonderful. You just saved us there, Emery. <laughs> okay. So there we go. So what we have just done semantically is is fairly important. All right. So when you when you create um, actual content on your page um, surrounding uh, wrapping the content in articles and then your subdividers then are sections right then all your stuff goes inside there uh, right now in our section we're going to add um, another uh, list of links this is going to be an unordered list because we want to provide a way for people to our readers to look at <coughs> Related content, more creature features. So I'm going to put in here, list item. I'll go ahead and just create three list items here. Copy, paste, paste. Should have done it after I did this next step. Okay, so to create a link, we got ahref equals. Now in this case, I don't have an actual place for it to go, so I'm going to put in a placeholder. And that is the hashtag. When you click on a link that has a hashtag for its href, it just stays there. Okay, so it doesn't try and actually go out to a location. So this is a this is a, a placeholder link. It's important to know because you might be working on a web page 
where you don't have all the information yet. You just know a link has to go there. Go ahead and put in a hashtag and it'll work fine for the moment. Okay, and so what goes in here is Deandre Monster bites a piano in half. Actually, I think I'll just copy and paste those. That's a little easier. Then I'll change it each time. Okay, the second one is... Brianna Monster terrorizes pool party. And the last one, I'm not going to give it to you up front. You have to read it. I could see you doing it, too. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Still typing? A little bit? Okay. This is the new improved wall. Oh my gosh. Well, the first one went up and threw me back and I did a little Sure. They were okay. Gotcha. Literally less than 30 seconds. Is it that, is it that razor rolled wire? And, and he just put a heavy like, like that. Right. And then all the rest of them just put it in the heavy roll. Yeah. Except for the one guy that. He needed a little, <laughs> a little more. Okay. And they were right over. I'm so happy my tax dollars are going to be so well spent. All right. <clears throat> I'm not getting into the politics of it. I'm just saying. Okay. So, do, 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 do. we've got our section here, our article. We are, oh, there we go. Okay, we are going to need an aside. So, if I follow my div back to here, the div creature feature, I want to get on the outside of that end div, right, before we get to main. And I'm going to put an aside in there. So you're having the aside in the main? No, uh, no. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, in the main. It's going in the main. Just double check. Double check my code.
Yeah, you can. It's a side is nothing more than a semantic marker. It doesn't surprise me. I think okay, so in in my aside Yeah. Yep. It's just outside that div. Okay. So So I'm gonna put in my aside here whoop, not side. Aside. Aside. There we go. Close that off. In my side, I'm going to have advertisements. Okay, that's how a lot of websites look, right? So we're going to have some divs in here. They will be my advertisements, and I'm going to say my ID. Move this up a bit. Is add one. I'm going to give it a class. This one is going to be full width add. Full width. And I'm just going to go ahead and close off my div there. I'm not going to put any content in it quite yet. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and do a copy paste here. So I've got four of them, and I'll go in and change them as I go here. So this is add two, will also be a class full width add. Ad number three, though, is going to be a half width ad. Ad number four will also be a half width ad. So you're going to, when I was working on this project, I thought, well, it'd be really cool. I can just show you the nice, convenient page breaks how this all works when you when you go to tablet when they turn the tablet when you go to the phone it turned out much more like a real world project where nothing lined up <laughs> i'm going to take you through that process so you can get a more real world experience and feel some of that pain <laughs> that i went through <laughs> but you can see things don't nicely break where you want them to that's the that's the frustrating thing about adaptive design or responsive Fudge factor, fudge factor, right. I, I did a calculate. Right. And that's the reason I'm really enjoying um, the Flexbox. It's Flexbox just fudges stuff for me, and I don't have to. <laughs> right. We're doing this the old fashioned way. We're not doing it with Flexbox. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do it the real way. You got it? Awesome. Okay. So we got a little bit of time left. Go ahead and save that. And uh, I want to view that in my document. Can I drop it in here? I'm just curious to know. Hey, I can. Cool. All right. So that's what it's looking like. Maybe not. I don't see my advertisements. Did I not save it? Oh, no. Oh. I'll just throw a little bit of text in there so I can see where it is. One. Okay. Still can't. See. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's my add one, two, and three down here. And as you can see, all of these are block items, right? They all want to kick the uh, content next to it down a level all right so i didn't use any spans spans would allow you content to sit next to each other because it's in line but these are all block level items okay so now we're going to go ahead and open up our text go ahead and grab that text for web page we're going to copy out the body copy this is the creature feature right here Copy that, bring it into my HTML document, and put it, putting it after, after the Monster 3 image. All right, so I'm going to just paste it right in there. 
Wow, that formatting went wonky, didn't it? Oh, did it? <laughs> Didn't like it. Shrivelly. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with shrivelly. I'm sure that's a word. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, change as you see fit. I don't mind. Don't mind at all. I just didn't want you to have to type all this out. That seems like kind of a waste of time. All right. So, got that. Now we're going to go ahead and go back, go back to our Word document and turn off my formatting there. Go ahead and grab these items the entire copy, all right, copy and, copy and paste those within the, um, the ads. So if I come down here and I see add one, I'm going to replace that entire text with what I just copied. You know, it could. That is a definite possibility. You know, my formatting went kind of wonky for this, but yeah. Which editor are you using? Which? Webstore. Okay. Nice. I do appreciate those kinds of helps. They're not. They're not ubiquitous. Close enough for rock and roll. Yeah, it ain't it ain't pretty when it copies and pastes in, but you can always go in and futz with it and format it. Don't blame you. All right, so let's go have a look at it on the web page. Um, all right, so that is sort of what I expected. All right, paragraph. It's kind of getting blocked out here by the by the image, but it starts right there as soon as it possibly can. We've got our links. We've got an advertisement right here. We've got a button to, to buy now. Buy now, sign up get some those are our calls to action right those of you who are in marketing always want to direct people to a thing that you can do <laughs> we need to rename that moisturizer <laughs> humor value is high but <laughs> she looks horrified <laughs> Totally worth it. <laughs> this is for monsters, right? That's what we're going to say. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was done. That little that little tasty bit right there was done with JavaScript, which we're going to do after this lesson. A little bit of JavaScript fun to make our pages interactive. Did everybody got that done so far? You good? 
All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and save our the beginning of our CSS for next time, which will be Thursday. It'll probably take us a period or two to get through the, um, the me, uh, media queries to make it all work. All right, so we have all our content in here. Happy day. Any questions? Everybody good? Yeah, why did the chicken cross the road? Um, why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Get to the idiot's house. The kid to the idiot's house. Please tell me you're not referring to my text. It's not a failed message there. <laughs>